I decided in 2023 I was going to make plenty of time for my sketchbooks again. I had been incredibly busy but I wanted to be mindful about how I was spending my time and the idea of being more purposeful with time was speaking to me. So I wanted to create an art kit that was going to be useful and to reflect my commitment and intentions, whether I was painting at home, on location, on the beach. I thought it'd be really interesting for you to see what I have in my art kit. I carry everything in this beautiful pouch, which I got from my friend Chris, and I'll send you a link in the description. I'm not doing these in any particular order, but I always have these little bulldog clips and if you've been out sketching or you just, you know, sketch at home, you often want the pages to stay down. So I use many of these to make sure the pages stay flat like that. Also, these bulldog clips are really handy to keep the pages flat when I want to take a overhead shot of them for Instagram. Next up, we have a variety of pencils. This is a Pentel Clicky pencil, which I've had for absolutely donkey's years, I think since my in-house artist studio days. Uh, this is just a basic 6B pencil, and um, this is a black wing pencil uh, that I sometimes sketch with. And this is uh, something that I've only started using recently after I saw Liz Steele's class and it almost acts like a wax resist and that's really effective. I should show you a video how I use that. These are my beloved brush pens. They are by Pentel. I've got one in uh, burgundy. This one is black. Uh, this is my absolute favorite, sepia. And I've got several cartridges for that. The barrel actually comes off. And these actually comes as refills, which is really handy because I use this brush pen such a lot. And also I've got a sepia version of a Copic multi-liner. I'm going to quickly show you what lines these create. This is the black. Oh, I need to give that a squeeze. But if you don't squeeze it, you get these lovely textural marks, which I absolutely adore. I'll show you pretty much the, the sepia one works the same. And I think that's running out as well. There's a bit more ink on that, but you can create things like that or really thin marks like that. Shapes. So this is my absolute favorite, the sepia one. And if you're working tonally, which I sometimes do, this is called the pale brown. So I sometimes you use these two together to give two different values. And the burgundy, because in general, I tend to use um, colors which are on the, the warmer end of the spectrum. And I love using this one in particular to add a bit more contrast. And now this brown Copic liner is, I don't have a fountain pen as yet in my art case, art pouch rather, although um, I do have a fountain pen that I could fill up and take with me. I've not got round to doing it. Let's move on to my brushes. These three are the quill brushes and do check out the video that I've got just explaining the brushes that I've used. I'll link that in the description. These are by Jackson's Art and this one I've only started using fairly recently because I'm using a smaller sketchbook, an A5 sketchbook. And um, it means that um, there's less wash being loaded onto here so that the sketchbook dries quicker but I still have to use a hairdryer because I'm using timed studies. And this one I've only, again, started using very, very recently. It's the Winsor & Newton. They call it the one stroke, but it's very gestural and I, I've quite enjoyed using that. And this one is just a, a really bog standard white nylon brush, which um, I use with white ink because I've been creating tonal studies recently. 
We also have white pens. This is the Posca pen, uh, which I've been using for years and it's my preferred white pen. I also have this Pentel pigment gel pen and the jelly roll version. And these are for much thinner white lines. Miscellaneous items. <laughs> Uh, pencil sharpener which I will show you in a minute because I'm using a lot of colored pencils uh, this by Statler um, I've met another artist online who we swear by this one the best pencil sharpener ever uh, a scalpel which um, I know is very odd but I like to um, scrape away if anything goes wrong that's my preferred method uh, a Faber-Castell rubber and also uh, this uh, I don't know what you call it uh, a mono zero is a clicky rubber and it comes out at the end like that and it's only because I've started using a few guiding pencil sketch lines when I do my timed studies just to help me out with proportion next up are a selection of Caran luminance pencils I've really really gotten into using these um, as you can see, some of these are a little bit shorter than the others. If we line them up like this, I think it looks like uh, it's the two greens that I've got, the sap green and the, um, I think it's the fallow green. And also this uh, particular red, dark red, which is Carmine Lake. I do actually have a YouTube video. It's a process video where I apply some of these color pencils on top of watercolor to pick out details and contrast. I'll add the link to this video in the description below. Please do check it out. I also have a small selection of Curate KZ Griot color brush pens. And, and most of these colors that I chose, and I didn't realize that they actually do a set of them. There's six pens in their set called Smoky Colors and they are lush, um, love brush pens. So you can create really thin lines like that, or really textural. And also if you wet it, you get softer edges like that. If you've, um, again, seen me on Instagram, I like to add sort of darker shadow type details with these. So this one is called um, Dark Agate. This one is Blossom Pink. And this one is Smoky Teal. So I probably use um, this one, the Dark Agate, the most. This one is Plum Gray. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors and this one is called dark yellow and I use this a lot in um, anything to do with like grass or landscapes uh, it really goes well with um, the Quinn gold that I like to use and also the gold green watercolor uh, talking of which this is my watercolor set as you can see it's pretty mucky I do clean it now and again but if you sign up to my newsletter, you'll find out exactly what colours I do have in here. I can't um, remember at the top of my head exactly what colours I've got in here at the moment. I know I added this um, green recently, but I'm not really using it, so I might take that out again. One thing I did forget to talk about was my travel watercolour set. Uh, this is a schminky case and inside it I chose my own colours. Again, I can't actually remember what I chose, but it's a basic set of warm greens, warm blues, warm reds. As you can see, it's well used. It's really handy. I can mix up uh, pretty much most colours that I need. And apart from swapping out that massive like 30 pan set, this is everything else that I take with me if I'm out and about. I would call this my everyday kit. All of this fits very nicely in that lovely sunflower art pouch. 
And I often work in different rooms. Sometimes in, I'm in my office. Sometimes I change over to my bedroom. Sometimes I'm in the dining room. So I just put everything in that art pouch and carry it around with me around the house. I do receive a lot of questions about art materials and although I am really happy to answer them, when people ask me where do you buy them, I just say I'm in the UK, you're going to have to look at art supplies wherever you live, you're going to have to do a Google search of art stores or online art stores in your location, I'm afraid I can't help you with that. I'm also asked why don't you use Princeton brushes or Stillman and Byrne sketchbooks. They are just a little bit trickier to get hold of in the UK and if I can they are more expensive and it really doesn't matter which art supplies you have, which brands you have, it's knowing how to use them and to practice with them until you feel confident. If you've enjoyed this video please consider subscribing, giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Tell me what your favourite art materials are and what do you always carry around with you when you go out sketching.